I don't know how to use it. Anita? Oh. Okay. Uh, you know, after I received this topic, I tried to think what I have done so far. So actually, I joined um, uh, Doc Two's group uh, 1988, um, December 1988. I still remember. And uh, after that, um, I studied here for five years, and then I graduated, and then uh, I joined HP. So that time is very hard to get into HP. Um, so, and then I have a uh, lot of stories, but uh, because of the time limit, I only can summarize what I have done. So I simplified as a one, two, three. Uh, one family, okay. Uh, <laughs> after I joined HP, I, you know, we got uh, our daughter uh, Jenny. Uh, so we completed the, the, the family. So we got uh, one complete family, and uh, my my son actually also Charlie Liang also graduated from UCSD, and uh, he just uh, got engaged uh, last month with uh, Vicky Wang which he also graduated from UCSD. <laughs> so uh, this is a picture we uh, took two years ago. My daughter Jenny uh, graduated from UC Berkeley. So I think this is a very important thing. So it's one. And then I have been working on two products. So light emitting diode and the laser diodes, including Vixel. So, um, I have been working on uh, many, many uh, different uh, LEDs uh, from the uh, air in gap, start with air in gap. That's like uh, from uh, 570 to 660. And then later on, uh, also working on the IR, uh, near, uh, near IR for the communication. And then later on, move to the gallium nitride. So I have covered all the colors for the LED. And uh, I'm lucky to see the LED from the lab to the, uh, the market, okay? Huge volume, and uh, uh, right now, you, you can see LED everywhere. So that's, you know, in US we call it solid state lighting, but in China we call it LED lighting. Also laser diode. So I worked on uh, 630, 650 in the beginning, and later on, uh, you know, for the communication, 980, 1310, 1550. And recently, I worked on the gallium nitride lasers, uh, 400, uh, 450, uh, 525, green. Of course, Vixel. Very, Vixel recently very hot. So actually, I started to work on Vixel since 1995. And uh, again, we start from zero to volume production. So I was in uh, HP and Agilent. To, I was the one of the key engineers developed the Vixel. And I see from the lab to volume production. And there's one time, actually, because of reliability problem, we had a big problem. So um, the production shut down for nine months. And we formed a firefighting team, try to fix that. At uh, that time, I already moved to uh, gallium nitride uh, uh, lasers. So, but um, the team couldn't fix the problem. So later on, they called me back, say, you come back to fix the problem. So it took me about three weeks, and I fixed the problem. So I feel very proud of that. Uh, nine months is a big loss. Nine months, the total production shutdown. So I have been working on the Vixel since 1995, and uh, in the beginning it was a data count. Now it's everywhere, you know, for the iPhone, for 3D sensing, for LiDAR, for everything. So for Vixel, also there's one period of time I work with Yong Hong, working on the 1310 um, Vixel with the NBE and uh, antimonide material. Uh, I work on the Vixel for 650, and uh, Originally, I worked on 1060 for the medical application, OCT, uh, and also uh, working on some long wavelengths. 
So for LED and for uh, laser, actually one important application is uh, for display, actually. Uh, you, we can see a lot of uh, the billboard, LED billboard, but actually recently we developed the laser for display. High resolution laser display, large screen. Also, I work on the grow lights, you know, for the modern uh, agriculture, uh, indoor grow. So we have a very, very successful stories about the uh, indoor growth with LED light. And I also was involved in the water cubic uh, project. Uh, that's a 2008 Olympics in Beijing. And uh, in the beginning, uh, they don't, they don't, they feel using LED is a big risk. So actually, I work very hard to try to persuade them to use LED and turn out it's a very successful project. And after this project, we wrote a, a book called LED Lighting Technology and uh, Engineering. So basically, we summarize everything we have done and with uh, uh, Olympic uh, LED lighting project. So again, Vixel is for Datacon and uh, recently for 3D sensing. And that's a huge market. And uh, yeah, again, it's very hot. So now, what are the three things? I have uh, summarized what I have done. Actually, uh, three turn out is uh, three different uh, career passes, paths. So I, during the last 20-some uh, years, I took uh, a regular path. I was an engineer and uh, transformed from a researcher to a, a good engineer and later on become an executive manager, uh, starting from the manager, uh, director, and the GM, a VP, CTO, CEO. Uh, I have tried everything so far. So that was uh, very, very <laughs> interesting. And also, I took a risky path. Uh, and entrepreneurship uh, entrepreneurship and starting new companies as a founder, co-founder. I was involved in about seven companies as a CTO, CEO, chairman of a board. I have tried everything. <laughs> the last thing I tried is the interesting path. That's the back to research, being a professor, follow Dr. Tu's footstep. Uh, so I have been uh, a professor for 10 years so far. At the same time, I had uh, my own company. So I enjoy the technology development and also commercialization. So I was a professor in the Chinese Academy of Sciences, Suzhou Institute of Nanotechnology. At the same time, I'm a professor of Fudan University. So um, at UCSD, we publish a lot of papers. So if I come back uh, about 60s, I mean, uh, uh, author and co-author, that means five years, like every year, we publish about 12 papers. So it's very productive. But after the school, uh, we, I have filed a lot of patents. So, so far, I have uh, filed about 120 patents, and uh, 70, more than 70 patents uh, get granted. So I got a big honor. It's called Top 10 Patent in, uh, Inventor in uh, 2012 uh, as a, in Jiangsu province. And, uh, you know, uh, Dr. Tu always is my uh, uh, role uh, model. So I have always learned from Dr. Tu. Even though I work with Dr. Tu for five years, but I think his impact on me is uh, will be 50 years. So this is, uh, yeah, some good. So again, that's uh, my son <laughs> attended the UCSD program, and then that's early days. And also, I invite Dr. Tu to uh, give a presentation in Suzhou. So I heard retirement is a starting point of the second half, because I'm not qualified to say this, but I try to confirm and learn because I have been thinking of retire, but because Dr. Tu has now re retired, I cannot. <laughs> so I've been waiting. So, but I keep learning and thinking, and so this is what I, have, what I have learned. So first, first half, working for others, right? For parents, for kids, for teacher, for supervisor, for professor. But I heard the second half, you can work for yourself. 
uh, you know, I need to confirm. <laughs> so I think uh, I heard, you know, you can do whatever you like, uh, more meaningful, more truthful, more interesting, more exciting. So I want to learn from Dr. Tu uh, after three or five years. I want to learn from you how to live a, a, a good retirement life. So again, congratulations, Dr. Tu, for your uh, retirement. Thank you very much. <laughs>